welcome to our session today and today we shall look at matrices and transformations i got a request that uh, this is a challenge area and i decided that uh, we better look at it uh, specifically the areas mentioned as being challenging were shear and stretch so in our today's um, lesson we shall look at one the forms of transformations there are basically six forms of transformations namely one shear stretch enlargement rotation reflection and translation the first two that is shear and stretch are new uh, as a, uh, in the topic of matrices and transformations uh, this is uh, these are taught in form 4 the other four, enlargement, rotation, reflection, and translation, we met them in our form two work. However, in this topic of matrices and transformations, we see how every transformation has an attaching matrix and how it is transformed by that matrix, how a certain object is transformed by that matrix. Uh, in our lesson today, we shall focus on shear. Then in another lesson, we shall focus on stretch. Straight away, let's move on to shear. One, we look at the description of a shear. A shear is described fully by stating, one, the invariant line, and a point not on the invariant line and its image, how that point is moved to its image. For example, we may be given a matrix M, which is a shear with x-axis invariant and a point P01 to be mapped onto point P prime. In this case, we note that the points on the invariant line remain in the same position and points on opposite side of the invariant line move in opposite directions but parallel to the invariant line. In our next, uh, one other item, is about the distance moved by a point being proportional to its perpendicular distance from the invariant line. The constant here of proportionality is called the shear factor and is given by the calculation. Shear factor is equal to distance moved by a point divided by the perpendicular distance of the point from the invariant line. Example two is similar with that one. A shear causes a point P23 to move to point 83 with x-axis being invariant. Then if you look at the shear factor, then we see the movement by that point is eight minus two divided by the perpendicular distance of the point from the invariant line three, and we get two. Uh, I would like us to do an example together and uh, we'll draw this in your graph books. A trapezium A, B, C, D has point A 1, 0, B, 4, 0, four, zero C, 3, 3, D, 2, 3, being transformed by matrix M, which I read vertically as 0, 1, 2, 1, to its image A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. So in this one, I would like you to find the coordinates of the image points, A prime, B prime, B prime, uh, C prime, D prime. And maybe as a reminder that we always pre-multiply the matrix of transformation to the object points to get the image points. And I would like to underline here, the question is, find the coordinates. So after that, you, you, I would like you to plot the object and the image on a grid and state the kind of transformation represented by that matrix M, giving reasons uh, and also showing where necessary the calculations involved. Let us take uh, about three minutes to do this and uh, once we are through we uh we shall move on to the next slide which shows the answer so you can pause on the video and move on after you are through in our next slide i believe you are through we see the answers the solution a prime is one zero b prime is four zero c prime is nine three d prime is eight three if you look at the example we see that point a has not moved 
point B has not moved since they are points on the invariant line. However, point D has moved to D prime, point C has moved to C prime. This is the direction of movement, which is parallel to the invariant line. And that is uh, our answer. That the transformation represents a shear with x axis invariant, point D23 moves point D prime 83. The shear factor being, using point D, 8 minus 2 divided by 3 is equal to 2. Note that points on the invariant line do not move, the others move parallel to the invariant line. Let's do another example, which is actually an exercise on your part, uh, with trapezium ABCD being transformed by matrix M with image points A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. Once more, uh, using the same steps as in example three or question three, work out this one. You take three minutes, once we are through, post on the video, and then uh, once you are through, um, move on to the next slide. So you can post on the video, then after you are through, we move to the next slide. In this slide, we look at the solutions for A prime, prime, C prime, and D prime. In this case, you find that A has moved, correct, to A prime, A moves to A prime, B moves to B prime, and the direction of movement is parallel to the x-axis. So in this case, we look at the solution and say that the transformation is a shear because the direction of movement of point D is parallel to the invariant line, which is the x-axis, to point D prime. The shear factor calculated as 8 minus 2 divided by 3 to get 2. We look at another exercise, which I would also like you to put in your books. Take about three minutes. So I would like you to pause on the video. And once you are through, um, you will move to the next slide, which has the solution. Correct, students. We are required to give the image points. I want to believe that you got them as we have in the solution slide. In this case, A has moved in the opposite direction to C and D. A and B moves in the negative x-axis direction, while C and D move in the opposite direction, the positive x direction. And this is what we had hinted on earlier, that the transmission is a shear, x-axis invariant, with the point C, 4, 2, moving to C prime, 8, 2. Shear factor being 8 minus 4 over 2 to give you 2. The most important thing to note here is that the points on opposite side of the invariant line move in opposite directions, but parallel to the invariant line. I would like to move back to that slide and be able to see that. As A and B move in this direction, then C and D move in the other direction. A and B move this way, C move that way. Uh, and that is a very important point. I'd like us to look at the summary here. That in general, a shear may be represented by the matrix 1, 0, K, 1, where K is a shear factor with x-axis invariant, and the points uh, on x-axis do not move. There is another um, form of a shear where we have 1, K, 0, 1, where K is a shear factor with y-axis invariant, and points on y-axis uh, do not move. Uh, I would like to give, I'll post an assignment on our Google Classroom, and I would like to inform all of us that during our next lesson, we shall look at stretch. I would like to hear your remarks. You can type in in the wall, uh, or you can post any question that is challenging, or any area that maybe you do not understand. Thank you, and God bless you.